Hi, this is Paul Forderston, the Globe Trotting Dentist, and I'm out here with my bride in a canoe in the middle of, um, I'm not even sure how to pronounce this lake that's uh, about 45 minutes outside of Jasper in the Canadian Rockies. Uh, the French speakers call it Lake Maligne, and the English speakers seem to call it Lake Maligne. I suppose either is correct. It's uh, the second largest lake in the world that is glacially fed. Uh, there's no river that goes into it. This is all from glacier uh, ice melt. And uh, it's a spectacular lake. It's 17 miles long and it's almost completely surrounded by mountains. So let me give you a little view here. So on my left, or as we ex-Navy people say, on the port side, I think it's port side, I've forgotten so much. But on the left, you see we're surrounded almost completely by mountains. Some short ones that still have vegetation growing and some very large ones going up to about 10,000 feet. And the Canadian Rockies only go to, I believe, 10 to 12,000 feet. Uh, really lovely area. Um, couldn't ask for a nicer day either. Yesterday was rainy for a long time and then um, it would be cloudy and threatening and then it would be rainy but then it would be heavier rain so we decided yesterday was not a good day for doing this. So today's dental tip. Um, I'm trying to do a few videos about cosmetic dentistry since I'm in such a cosmetically beautiful part of the world. And one of the things that's been a very thorny problem for uh, dentists to solve is when people have a gummy smile. And by that I mean when you smile, you're this much is exposed. So you're showing uh, several acres of gum tissue every time you smile. Some people love that look, just like some people, uh, the British comedian Terry Thomas, loved uh, a big space between his front teeth. Some people hate that look. Um, so there is a way to solve uh, a gummy smile today. And uh, techniques have really advanced quite a bit uh, over the years. So if, you're, you, if you have a gummy smile and you've always hated that look, find the best cosmetic dentist or one of the best cosmetic dentists in the town where you are. Try to find somebody who's taken a lot of courses with cosmetic experts like uh, John Coyce, uh, Frank Spear, people like that. Um, and um, just ask your questions. Come in with a written wish list. This is what I want and can you accomplish that? Uh, I should say that this is not a an immediate gratification treatment. Sometimes the treatment is very involved, but depending on how you feel about your smile, this may be the best investment you ever make. So this is Buzz Waterston, the Globe Trotting Dentist, and I'm signing out, and I hope you're having a wonderful day with a lot of sunshine like my day is.